Hello and welcome to our new blog post where we will focus on robotic process automation, machine automation with Scratch and Lego. So because today we want to explain you a little bit of a process, we have a short agenda. First we start with a process overview, that's what David is going to do. Then we do a short demo together. Then we explain you the configuration and some obstacles that we had to overcome. And finally, we close with a summary. Okay, let's start with the process overview. And David, can you explain us what we designed? Uh, yes, the robot wants to steal the gold, and but the, there's a camera. The camera sends an email. The email starts a flow. The flow goes to Scratch and Scratch starts my Lego, Lego robot. What is the name of the robot? Uh, actually Bernie, but I call him Bernie. Bernie, okay. And then Bernie catches the robot. Yes. Okay, good. Then let's have a look at uh, how this works um, in practice and what we set up. Okay, so now we are here in our demo environment um, in Power Automate. On the upper right hand side you see my camera that shows the, the robot in front of the police station. And then in the middle you see the, the treasure, the house and the camera. And now David, please just uh, make or start the break in. Okay, so the thief came with a motorcycle um, very fast. You heard the, the sign or yeah, kind of sound that the camera was doing. And then in addition to the sound, there is an email that um, triggers hopefully our flow. So let's see if this one is uh, triggered. Yeah, you see it's running. Yeah, on average, it needs around 40 seconds to uh, start then the scratch program and um, the scratch program should then um, yeah, control and start the robot. So let's wait for that and hopefully you will see it moving. Achtung, hier ist die Polizei. Sofort stehen bleiben. Okay, so you saw the robot uh, made some sound. It was, of course, German. Um, and he tried to catch the, the thief. Um, was not exact, actually. But uh, the police noticed that the thief is there and um, controls it and hopefully puts it into prison. So that's what we wanted to show to you. So now let's go back to the PowerPoint for some important remarks, how we set the whole thing up in case you want to do something similar and replicate what we have done. Okay, so after this short demonstration, let's have a look at the configuration and some opt obstacles that we had to overcome. So, um, first thing was, there is actually a Lego boost app that we found but this lego boost app is not compatible with windows 11 pcs uh, it's just not made for that there's also a lego website where you can check um, the availability okay so what did we do well of course we used scratch and implemented this uh, application on our computer and then we noticed well wow, it's not sufficient why because there is another small application that needs to be configured and run. And this is the Scratch Link app. Yeah? So you have to make sure that this one is also installed in your computer if you want to replicate what we have done. Then from a process perspective, this is very easy. So it has only two steps. Step one is we have the email that triggers the flow and then we run um, the desktop flow. So very easy, nothing special to consider here. And then finally, as a short summary, um, 
yeah, what did we do? It was, in our opinion, despite all the obstacles, it was easy to implement, right? It was not too difficult. Not too difficult. Yeah, okay. And then, of course, I mean, you can control machines, you can control a robot. But whether you want to control your car where you sit in as a person, is might be a different story. So, you can control maybe non-business critical machines with Power Automate and uh, Robotic Process Automation. And uh, we thought, okay, this cannot be the end of the story. So, there is more to come, right? Mm. Okay, can you give a glimpse of, of what we are going to do? It has something to do with Star Wars. Star Wars. Okay, so stay tuned and uh, follow us here to see what we will do with Star Wars. Okay, and as usual, thanks for watching and listening. And if you have comments, remarks, or yeah, just want to leave a comment, send us an email or put it in the comment section. So thanks a lot for watching and listening. And then till next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.